On a beautiful evening, Liv stood alone in the corner of the 50th floor roof garden. She was somberly watching her colleagues celebrate the end of the long-drawn annual event. Like every year, a few star performers have been handpicked and promoted from across global offices. And like the previous year and the one before that, Liv was one of them. However, it was different this time around. Even though she now had her dream job, she felt an empty void at the pit of her stomach. The elation that she had felt the last year was gone. Something had changed. Something was terribly wrong. As she'd hoped to find solace in her solitude, she noticed a known face staring at her from across the corner. He was the security consultant that she had met a few times today. Acknowledging her, he gave a small nod and walked towards her. Miss Liv? Hey, this is Jack. I am sorry if I am bothering you, but I wanted to check if you are okay. Caught off guard, Liv muttered. What gave it away? Jack smiled. You look like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, he said gently. Liv forced a smile, trying to mask her turmoil, but the concern in Jack's eyes was disarming. She hadn't expected to be noticed, let alone understood by someone she barely knew. There was something sincere about Jack's demeanor that made her want to open up. It's nothing, she began, but the words felt hollow. Jack simply stood there, waiting patiently, as if he knew she needed time to find her voice. After a moment of silence, Liv sighed deeply and confessed, I should be happy. I've worked so hard to get here. I've achieved everything I ever wanted. Promotions, accolades, recognition. But I feel empty. It's like no matter how much I accomplish, it's never enough. I don't even know what I'm chasing anymore. Jack nodded thoughtfully, his gaze never leaving hers. Sometimes when we're chasing a goal, we lose sight of why we started in the first place. It's easy to get caught up in what others expect of us, or what we think we should want. But what about you, Miss Liv? What do you want? Liv stared at him, his words echoing in her mind. What did she want? The question seemed simple, but it had been so long since she'd asked herself that. She'd spent years striving to meet the expectations of her parents, her bosses, and society. She realized, with a pang, that she'd never stopped to think about what truly made her happy. I, I don't know anymore, she whispered. My parents, they always pushed me to be the best. They believed that if I worked hard enough, I'd be happy. And for a while, I thought they were right. But now, I feel like I'm just going through the motions, like I'm living someone else's life. Jack's expression softened with understanding. I can relate to that, he said quietly. There was a time when I thought success meant following a certain path. But over time, I realized that the path I was on wasn't mine. It was only when I started listening to myself that I found peace. Liv looked at him, intrigued. How did you do it? Jack leaned against the railing, looking out at the city below. It wasn't easy. I had to let go of the idea that my worth was tied to what others thought of me. I started small, taking time to understand what I truly valued what made me feel alive. It was a process of unlearning, of rewiring my mind to focus on what really mattered to me, not just what I'd been taught to believe mattered. Liv considered his words. For so long, she had been driven by a fear of failure, a need to prove herself worthy in the eyes of her parents and the world. But in that pursuit, she had sacrificed her own happiness for a version of success that no longer fulfilled her. Jack could see the conflict in her eyes and offered a gentle smile. You don't have to have all the answers right now, Liv, but maybe it's time to start asking yourself some new questions. What would make you truly happy? What kind of life do you want to create for yourself, free from the expectations of others? Liv felt a flicker of hope at his words. She had been so consumed by her achievements that she had forgotten to consider her own happiness. Perhaps it was time to reclaim her life, to redefine success on her own terms. Thank you, Jack, she said, her voice steadying. I think I needed to hear that. Jack nodded, his eyes warm with encouragement. Remember, Liv, you have the power to create your own future. Don't let your past or anyone else's expectations control your happiness. The life you want is within reach. You just need to be brave enough to claim it. As Jack walked away, Liv stood alone once more, but this time, she felt a sense of clarity she hadn't had in years. She realized that her journey wasn't over, it was just beginning. The path ahead was uncertain, but for the first time in a long time, she felt ready to walk it on her own terms. She smiled to herself, 
feeling lighter than she had in years, it was time to let go of the past and start creating a future that was truly her own.